What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? It's a nice warm day to ride right now. And it gets me to the topic, do you always wear your gear when you ride? Even if it's to the corner store, if it's just around the block. Me, personally, I, I do. I, I always have my boots on. Even when I ride to work, I got a pair of shoes that I leave at work when I don't want to carry my backpack. I have my gloves on. Uh, my jacket. It's a perforated jacket, so I'll leave all the vents open. I might not zip it up all the way. Oops. Guess they're painting new lines and should probably stay out this lane. My bad. Yeah, I'm already starting to sweat. I'm gonna use, probably use a lot of cliches today. As the saying goes, you can wipe off your sweat, but you can't wipe off scars. What can go wrong will go wrong. Me personally, I don't like taking that chance because I just don't trust other drivers. Uh, some texts while driving, some just don't pay attention. It's just not worth it to me. I'd rather be hot because because once you start get going anyways, you, you're cool down. I mean, the only thing that it gets really hot when you like had a standstill like this. I'll bear being hot and sweaty, but at least I'm safe. I mean, we could wear all the gear in the world and stuff could still happen, but why not have that extra protection, that extra insurance? Because you never know. So I'm just wondering, do you guys always wear your gear? Um, leave a comment below. I mean, I know I see a lot of guys that just wear, sometimes wear their helmet, their gloves, and a t-shirt. I know, you, you feel awesome riding. It's nice breeze. The wind's hitting you nice and cool. Your bike can get up to 200 degrees in the US, so that's Fahrenheit you peoples outside of the US and that's the reason why I make these motor vlogs sometimes I just want to hear your opinions you know that's how I keep updated with my motorcycle information and, and news I'm wearing jeans right now I don't have any any um, riding pants yet I'm gonna get some riding jeans or maybe just like a some pants that I can zip up to my jacket here. I know they make some um, that connect. Um, so I'm looking at those, but I don't feel like I'm fully geared up. I mean, I have gear on, but it's not the whole shebang. Gloves, boots, jacket, helmet. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I have just done the glasses thing, the t-shirt, jeans, and some tennis shoes. Um, I always wear gloves for some reason. And it felt great. It felt, oh, so you feel so free. And the wind's hitting you and you, especially on a nice hot day, I mean, I can see why people do it. But I have a three-year-old that I want to go home to. It was gonna be four soon here, but in August. But so I, I want to take as much precaution as possible. Um, like I said, because you never know what will happen. Someone can make a sudden lane change, and it may be that gear that just saves you. I think you should always wear your helmet. In Minnesota, we don't have to wear our helmets. We can just wear eye protection. But that's the minimum. If I'm going to do something, I want to go all out or not do the minimum that's needed. And that's just me. Call me a pansy, whatever. That's just me. 
I just don't want to take that chance. I'm just riding to this lake that I've never been to. Just put it in my Google map and um, just heading out there just to check out the the view and make this video. But I am really interested in what your opinions are on this matter and, and why you feel the certain way you do. Because some people might think, oh, I'm just riding to the corner store. I can just put on some glasses and head out. What can happen? Well, a lot can happen, in my opinion. Goes back to that Newton Law, what can go wrong will go wrong. So I've, I've had some close encounters um, where people are changing lanes and it can get kind of scary. Like I said, I, I'm a father and I want to go I want to go home to my son I want to go home in one piece for sure so I'm gonna take all the precautions that I can but why not and what I don't get sometimes is those guys that are doing wheelies and stuff and they have no gear on like seriously that should be the one time that you put all your gear on I mean I get it uh, if you're going down, you know, to the corner store, to the gas station real quick to grab something to drink or whatever and head back, you may not want to put all the gear. It takes time. It's time consuming. But if you're doing wheelies and stuff and you're not trying to wear your gear, uh, the gear just, I don't know, I'm not going to call you any names, but it's just, it's baffling to me. I, I don't understand it personally. And, and plus, I like looking like a Power Ranger. You know, I grew up watching the Power Rangers. I love the Power Rangers. I got some white on though, so I don't look like the Black Ranger. Well, the Power Rangers have like white. So I don't know, maybe. Oh, Eagle Lake Regional Park. I'm do some off-roading, yeah, buddy. It rained a lot last night. Gotta be a little careful. See, I got my gear on. If I were to fall right now, I wouldn't be in such bad shape. Picking up some speed here. Woo. What do you consider as gear? You no, know, are you just a helmet? Some people might consider just wearing glasses and some gloves. A little secluded area here because me I, I go boots gloves jacket helmet that's what I wear when I I ride and I might not always have my boots on I sure won't wear any flip-flops that's for sure made it to my destination and that's my video I hope you contribute by commenting below let me know what you think as far as what you wear or what you consider as gear. Um, some people, it may just be a helmet, gloves. Some people might consider helmet, gloves, jacket. Some people just helmet and jacket. Let me know what you think. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. It's Kill612 out. Thanks for watching.